Welcome back to 1001 Beers. You must try before you die my last canned beer from Japan that my friend Tim brought back for me. Um, it's a shame, but um, there'll be more beers to try. Um, my stash is almost empty. I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, I've got six beers left, and they're all going to be drunk in a session with a few friends. Uh, they're all, uh, so looking forward to those. They're all from Sweden, Finland, and Estonia. So those are coming up quite soon uh, in the next week or so. But on to this beer. Uh, it is uh, from Japan, as I said. Uh, I don't know which part of uh, Japan it's from. doesn't say. It's 5%. First brewed in 2005. And it's Tokyo Black Porter. I really like this. Um, the style of it is brilliant. I love the, 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 the design on here. It's got this kind of lovely kind of cloud cloudy uh sort of night sky cloud and uh what appears to be some sort of sumo wrestler who's got his bum out um which is fine the rest is in japanese i can't read it but it does say tokyo black and porter in english so uh i'm going to tell you a bit about this beer when we start drinking it let me talk about the tasting notes first it's a dark opaque brown with a medium tan head there's a faintly sweet dark caramel aroma with a touch of vanilla as a tangy flavour, quite like chocolate. The deep roast flavours are minimal. The taste more like brownies, making it close to a port in the stout. But it sounds lovely. So let's crack this open and I'll tell you a bit, a bit more about the origins of this beer. Looks nice. I don't think I've had a porter like this out of a can before, so that's exciting. Um, right, so nice medium tan black head. It is quite dark head there. That's lovely. Really, really dark. That's really good. So let's go for the smell. Oh, it smells lovely. It does smell quite vanilla-y, actually, um, with a kind of uh, sweet, caramelly, vanilla-y. That mm, smells lovely. Um, let's go for the taste. Cheers. Mm. Oh goodness, this is the best of all the three Japanese beers I've done so far. This is really, really tasty. Oh. It's really chocolatey uh, and it's got no, no burnt taste to it at all, but it's not overly sweet. It's got, it's got the taste of chocolate, maybe a hint of coffee. I can taste a little bit of vanilla in there. It's really smooth, it's silky smooth taste. Really nice mouthfeel, not too fizzy. This is a great example. I'm really pleased that I've had this actually. Really lovely porter. It says Tokyo Black is a superbly crafted session porter introduced by former brewmaster Toshi Ishii. Uh, so this was a second brand to the Yoni Yoni Ale, which I, which was the last one beer I reviewed. So, so by the same brewery, by Yoho Brewing. It says the brewery president wanted to uh, knew that the popularity of Guinness was going high in Japan and they wanted to have a beer that could exceed it. Uh, he says that he says that beers brewed in Japan perceived as being fresher, which would make sense. Well, they probably are fresher, not even perceived they are fresher. Um, so apparently a lot of dark beers are coming more and more uh, popularity, uh, sorry, a lot more popular in Japan of late, so that's really, really cool. Um, it's based on an existing recipe from a US brewery. It doesn't say what, it, what US brewery that is. Uh, doesn't say I'm looking at the fact. Doesn't say a lot. They only do three beers. The brewery, so I don't actually say a lot about the. Uh, uses nice water from a resort. Not a lot to say about it, but clearly this was meant as a competitor to Guinness. Uh, this is so much better than Guinness. It's you can't. Even, I don't think you can compare. This is just so much more flavour to it. It's much lighter. Guinness is a thick, thick old style. This is a really nice light session porter. Um, you wouldn't know it's 5%. It doesn't taste like 5% at all. It's, it tastes about 4%, maybe a bit stronger. Uh, really nice taste. Um, it does say it tastes more like brownies than deep roast. Entirely correct. Um, it does taste like you're drinking a nice, slightly roasty chocolate brownie beer. Um, Oh, this is beautiful. 
What a shame I've only got one can. But I'm drinking out of my Bingham's glass because I like to I like to drink my dark beers out of the Bingham's glass to celebrate the vanilla stout from Bingham's. I always say this, but I want to big them up because they won Champion Beer of Britain last year. So uh, good good glass uh, a dark beer out of. Um, so Tokyo Black, I'm going to go away and enjoy the rest of this. Uh, it's a beautiful beer. Um, highly recommend it if you've never had it. Although I've never seen it in this country, so you may not even find it. It may be available only in Japan, which is exciting. Um, have you ever had it before? Comment on the video, like the video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see all those Estonian and Swedish and Finnish beers I've got coming up. Um, uh, I'll leave you with Tokyo Black there and a Japanese man's uh, uh, <laughs> judo, not judo, uh, sumo bum for your delectation. Goodbye.